It is difficult to decide what truly makes a legend a beer. Beer has been around us for thousands of years, and with this longevity comes thousands of possibilities of who could qualify. There are mythical beer kings, prolific brewers, and even gods and goddesses. But when I think about what makes someone a legend, I don't think of royalty or divinity. I think of a normal person who did extraordinary things and changed the world for the better. And when thinking of this through the context of beer, I knew I couldn't start this series with anyone else other than the man himself, Michael Jackson, the beer hunter. And no, I do not mean that Michael Jackson. Sadly, even with the huge global boom in craft beer over the past decade, Michael Jackson is not as well known as he should be. But I would consider him one of the founding fathers of craft beer, and certainly the most prolific and inspiring beer reviewer of all time. This is the beer that they make here. It's not really a beer to refresh the body. It's more of a beer to sustain the soul. I consider him to be one of the most influential people in my own beer experience, and can say in many ways I idolize and attempt to imitate him. Michael Jackson handcrafted how we think of beer today, as well as developed some of the most important and inspiring documents and events in beer history. Michael Jackson was born in the UK, where he was surrounded by the great legacy brewing of Europe. He told a story of his first memorable experience with beer being a small child walking around with his mother downtown. As they passed pubs, he was able to get whiffs of the yeast esters created by Bretomyces and how much he enjoyed the aroma. It's not hard to assume that this was the seed that would inspire him to grow up and write his first book entitled The English Pub. Little did he know that these events would set him on a path to become the most important beer journalist of all time. Mr. Jackson started making a name for himself in the beer world in the late 1970s when he published his second book, The World Guide to Beer which was essentially a collection of Mr. Jackson's beer drinking notes as he traveled the world drinking and reviewing beer. It was something completely unheard of at the time. Sure, beer journalism wasn't new, but I can't find any examples where it was done on this magnitude. This book was a global undertaking that dived deep into every aspect of every mentioned beer. The historical context, the industry practice and processes, regional differences, and all of that was on top of the sensory analysis provided by Mr. Jackson himself. Additionally, the concept and nomenclature of beer styles as we know them today was formed and coined in this book. This book should be the equivalent of Dead Sea Scrolls for the beer reviewer. Without it, there would be no rate beer, untapped, or anything else for that matter. It was a true inspiration to thousands who went on to work and still work in the industry. Michael Jackson's World Guide to Beer was the Bible. It was the inspiration for all the diversity we have in the craft brewing movement right now. When that book came out and we read through that, we saw this whole world of possibilities, these different colors, these different flavors, these things that we had never heard of yet. That's what inspired people here in the United States. Belgium is having a, a, you know, new breweries now for the first time in decades. Um, and it's all because the, the base for that whole thing is this one book. It was called Michael Jackson's World Guide to Beer. This gained him a lot of attention, and he became the de facto leader of the beer and brewing world. His notoriety within the community was so highly regarded that he was even picked up for a Discovery Channel show entitled The Beer Hunter. This chapter of his life is where he would solidify himself as the most prolific face of beer of all time. The Beer Hunter show wasn't an incredibly long-running series, only spanning six total episodes, but they were incredibly impactful. Each episode followed Mr. Jackson to a different country where he would drink, review, and discuss their rich and nuanced relevance. It took beer journalism to an entirely different level. I may be wrong in this, but as far as I'm able to tell, this was the first video depiction of beer journalism and reviews. 
Nowadays, we have a blossoming community of beer reviewers who do daily takes on beers from around the world. But this was the foundation. This was the start of it all. And more importantly, this show ushered in the first great American beer revolution by opening the eyes of Americans to the world of beer. The first episode of The Beer Hunter followed Mr. Jackson around California drinking some of America's earliest craft brewers to include Anchor Brewing. His storytelling was captivating, and I think it allowed Americans to finally realize that we, like the Europeans, were capable of having a rich and complex beer identity of our own. When people think of San Francisco, they think of the Golden Gate Bridge, cable cars, Tony Bennett's heart, maybe even Alcatraz. But I think of something closer to my heart. I think of beer. <laughs> There's been a blossoming of beer and brewing in California. At this festival in San Francisco, there are almost 200 beers on show. Most of them are styles of beer that you might expect to find only in the British Isles. Ales... But that wasn't enough for Mr. Jackson. He began partnering with another legend of beer, Charlie Papazian, to found one of the greatest beer events in American history. See, Mr. Jackson had been involved with beer festivals around the globe for some time now. He saw them as a great opportunity for industry growth, collaboration, and more importantly, a possibility for beer education to the general public. And Michael Jackson had grown fond of American beer and its adventurous spirit, so he figured it was about time Americans had one of their own. So he pushed Charlie Papazian into starting the now world-famous Great American Beer Festival in Denver, Colorado which helped solidify the fact that America could be a great and flavorful beer-producing nation. At this point, Mr. Jackson had solidified himself as a beer celebrity. He became the hero of the industry. He started selling his own glassware, founded the legendary Rare Beer Club Mail Order Club, wrote several more books on beer and whiskey, and even made some late-night television appearances. <laughs> My next guest is the world's leading beer expert. He's devoted most of his life to learning and writing about beer, and his latest book on the subject is Great Beers of Belgium. Please welcome Michael Jackson. Sadly, Mr. Jackson's life would be cut short by a heart attack in late 2007, but his legacy would continue. The Oxford Brooks University absorbed the majority of Michael Jackson's work and has it available to the public so that generations of beer lovers may have access to his notes, writings, and articles. Additionally, over 1,500 books from his personal library used for research into beer and whiskey from around the world are all in one convenient location. There was also an entire documentary made on his life entitled Beer Hunter the Movie. Unfortunately, this is incredibly hard to find. All I can find are clips and this trailer. It seems the official website is now defunct and it is also almost impossible to find online. So if anybody out there has it, please let me know if you would be willing to arrange some type of exchange for a physical or digital copy of it. I believe it is an incredibly important part of his life and an amazing chapter of beer history as a whole. So if anyone out there has it, please don't let it get lost to time. But more importantly, through his life's work, Michael Jackson was able to inspire so many people throughout the industry. Brewers, drinkers, writers, and reviewers can all look to Michael Jackson for inspiration. He without a doubt changed the entire world's perspective on beer. He changed beer culture from the lowly everyman's drink into a refined, quaffable adventure for everyone. And I think that is the best way to sum up Mr. Jackson's work. Beer is an adventure. I highly encourage you to dive into his work and see beer through a wider lens because of it. So I will leave you with one last quote from Mr. Jackson. It's what made me want to emulate him in the first place. Even in great brewing countries, the most interesting beers are often a minority taste. They have to be hunted. Thank you for watching everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, and cheers. <laughs>